I'm Jenny Carlson here with Barry Trammell. We're at the American Airlines Center in Dallas, where on Thursday night, Oklahoma City defeated Dallas 106-100 in the Western Conference Finals. Barry, the series is now tied 1-1. Huge get for the Thunder on the road. How did they do it? Well, it took a gutsy move by Coach Scott Brooks. He, uh, he uh, sat Russell Westbrook the entire fourth quarter, and not just Russell, but every other starter except Kevin Durant. Uh, Ke uh, Scotty Brooks always goes with uh, the B team to start the fourth quarter, occasionally with Durant uh, alongside them. That's what he did tonight, and he never took them out. They played well. They expanded a one-point lead, took control of this game, and into the final minute of the game before uh, Nick Collison fouled out, did, uh, did Scott Brooks make a substitution. I thought it was a great night for Scott Brooks with a uh, sort of the pulse of this team. He really proved that all that stuff he talks about in terms of believing in all the guys, he proved it tonight. You talk about the fact that four of the five starters were on the bench, only uh, 50 seconds played by those four that weren't named Kevin Durant, and yet a lot of talk about Russell Westbrook. He left the game in the third quarter, looked to exchange some words with Scott Brooks. What do you make of things? Do you think uh, there's going to be a carryover possibly heading into game three? I don't see any reason why there would be. Russell's an emotional player. He's a volatile player. Uh, he occasionally loses his, uh, blows his stack but he always gets over it and comes back and plays. I don't think there'll be any ramifications of this game. Now, if, this, if the Thunder had lost, it'd be, you know, the house would be on fire. But Eric Maynard produced at the point. The, uh, the offensive uh, production by the reserves was fantastic in this game. Russell Westbrook uh, said, as long as we win and I don't care, and, and the Thunder won it, he had no, uh, he had no recourse to argue that, uh, that the guys weren't playing well. I think Russell will be fine. Let's talk a little bit about Dirk Nowitzki because the guy that went off for 48 points in game one only, only had 29 points in this game. Is it an only or, or is uh, it, how do you sort of stack up what the Thunder did against Dirk Nowitzki tonight? I think they played pretty well. I mean, through three quarters, it was fantastic. Through three quarters, he was three of seven shooting from the field um, with 13 points. had gone to the line a few times. But uh, in the fourth quarter, he was seven of ten had 16 points in the fourth quarter. Nick Collison guarded him that whole time. He, uh, he got Nick several times. Uh, but it just shows you the greatness of Dirk Nowitzki for him to, to score 29. And we're talking about, uh, you know, did he have an off night? But, uh, no, the Thunder did a very solid job, especially through those three quarters. And then in the fourth quarter, that Thunder uh, offense was just so efficient. Um, in, the, in the fourth quarter, everyone played well, and, and they, they got a lot of uh, baskets. Five times the, the Mavericks cut the lead to one in the fourth quarter. Four of the five times, the Thunder responded immediately with buckets of their own. And then the other time, Daquan Cook ended up having to guard Nowitzki, and Nowitzki missed a jumper, and uh, the Thunder was at it again. So very solid performance. Defense today only allows the, uh, Ma the Mavs to shoot 43%. Unbelievable after what we saw the other night. Now game three is on Saturday night in Oklahoma City. Barry, let's preview that game for a little bit. Do you feel like there will be some great carryover, or do you fear that now that the Thunder even this thing up with a road win that maybe they get a little complacent? Well, I don't think they'll get complacent. I do think uh, Dallas is the best road team in the league. So, I, you know, there's – not at all should anybody be thinking about a, a sweep. Game three will be all that the Thunder can handle. We'll see. I think they'll do well. We, show, we saw again tonight how resilient this team is. They bounce back so well. The problem, though, is you, you, they really need a sweep. You don't want to go 2-2 two -two when, you, when you're up one, when it's 1-1 one -one, uh, on the road. Get, get a sweep in Oklahoma City, and the Thunder is just this far from the NBA Finals. So, um, you know, take care of business. It won't be easy. But I, I think the Thunder will be ready to play. All right. That's Saturday night, 8 p.m. at the Oklahoma City Arena. We'll be there, and we'll bring you all the coverage on News OK and in the Oklahoman. Be sure to stay with us.